boys and girls. Welcome back to Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor down in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Mr. Taylor, Shazzy, and I are out on the beach and I wanted to read you a story called Dolphin Discovery because the other day I saw a dolphin swim right by the beach out there. It's pretty windy today, so I hope you'll be able to hear me read. The Dolphin Discovery. from some distance away, the sounds of clicks and whistles could be heard. One of the bottlenose dolphins was about to give birth, and among all the dolphins, there was a great sense of excitement. The new mother had been carrying her baby for 12 months. She twisted and turned, arching her back while her female command companions kept a close watch. Soon the tail of the baby could be seen. It wouldn't be long now. Sure enough, in the next few moments, the baby dolphin was born. She was perfect and her mother named her new calf Dart. But the dolphins couldn't relax and admire her yet. Her mother had to give her a gentle push upwards, helping her to the surface so she would breathe. She would take her first breath through the blowhole on the top of her head. She would continue to breathe every few minutes until she grew bigger and could hold her breath for longer. Dart stayed very close to her mother, protected within the circle of other female dolphins called a pod. She grew rapidly, nursing on her mother's milk. Or she could hear Shasta. She's barking at all the dogs on the beach. One day, Dart surfaced under a black blanket of sargassum seaweed and found herself surrounded by a bunch of tiny fish. Now, dolphins are very inquisitive, and Dart was no exception. So she asked, who are you? We're dolphins, they shouted all together. Dolphins? But I'm a dolphin. You're a dolphin? cried the tiny fish. We're dolphins too. And it went back and forth and back and forth, believing that they were both dolphins. But you know what they were? Dart was a dolphin mammal and her new friends were dolphin fish. Dart could hear her mother calling, recognizing her special whistle. She was telling Dart to come home quickly. The pod had a shoal of fish in sight and it was time for a lesson in how to catch them. To Dart's surprise, all the dolphins began to circle the fish, stirring up the sand with their tails so that it was hard for the fish to see. Dart watched as the silvery shoal dashed this way and that, trying in vain to get away. Then the fish started to jump. They jumped as high as they could out of the water, and they caught the fish in their open mouths, swallowing them whole. Gulp! Dart loved her family. What fun she and the younger dolphins had together, jumping and diving, laughing and whistling, swimming fast and swimming slow. And best of all, she loved the hugs and the cuddles that made her feel safe and secure just like kids and their moms. But it wasn't all play. The pod continuously searched for food and they listened for danger by sending out short, high-pitched whistles and clicks. And this was called echolocation. The sound waves traveled through the water and bounced back as echoes. Using echolocation, they could learn how fast an object was moving, how far away it was, its size and whether it was fish to eat or a predator they needed to escape from. Suddenly, out of the deep blue vastness loomed a dark shape. Shape. Dart's mother smiled. Oh, don't worry about her. You found Tilly the turtle. And I'm going to read about Tilly later this week.
Dart was one year old now and had started to eat fish. She was mimicking her mother in the clear blue waters as they glided together over the sandy sea floor. But what was this? An echo showed a small fish hiding under the sand. Could they find this hidden fish? They were going to try. With their long snouts, they burrowed together, but it was Dart that uncovered the fish first. She began to play with it, but her mother said, You need to eat it up, Dart. It started as a normal day, but it was a day that changed the life of young Dart. All around her, the dolphins chattered, discussing and approaching new pod of male dolphins. Dart knew that male dolphins swam together in another pod because in large numbers they were very aggressive. She was a little scared. They quickly arrived, at first jumping and diving, greeting the female dolphins with delight. But then they started snapping their jaws and clapping their tails and twisting in corkscrew movements. Dart tried to stay close to her mother, but all the dolphins were moving so fast that the water filled with bubbles and Dart tumbled this way and that way. Suddenly, it was all over. The dolphins were gone, but Dart's family was gone too. Poor Dart was lost. The ocean suddenly felt like a very dark, big place for a little dolphin all on her own. What shall I do, Dart wondered. She tried calling her mother with her special whistle. Again and again she called, but no whistle came back. There was just silence in the big, dark ocean. And something was ahead, lots of something, and it was coming very close to her. She was scared. Dart was suddenly surrounded by a shoal of beautiful fish. Their electric blue, green, and golden bodies flashed as they twisted and turned at the surface. Sometimes they were leaping right out. They were in a feeding frenzy, chasing a group of flying fish. They wanted them for supper. Dart looked on in amazement, and he caught some flying fish too. Dart, remember us, said one of the fish as it flashed past. Dart jumped for joy. She recognized her friendly friends, the dolphin fish. Yeah, but you have really changed. My name is Rainbow. I'm one year old and I'm all grown up, said the dolphin fish. We do everything quickly. We grow up quickly. We lay thousands of eggs quickly. We hatch out quickly. Also, that more dolphin fish are growing up as quickly as they can. Just then, Dart and Rainbow noticed a boat heading their direction. Oh no, it's a sport fishing boat and they're going to try and catch me, cried Rainbow. Dart jumped out of the water to take a peek and saw a sailing yacht with two children laughing and pointing at them. No longer in danger, Dart and Rainbow swam closer. Looking up into the smiling faces of the children, they surfed on the bow waves. It was another new experience for Dart and she felt happy, but not for long. I've got to go, said Rainbow. We're starting our long migration north and if I'm lucky, I'll see you next year. And before Dart could shout goodbye and good luck, Rainbow was off swimming away and Dart was alone again. It had been a long day and Dart felt tired, but she still couldn't sleep. Half of her brain must remain active to stay alert for danger and to remember to breathe. She swam slowly, resting. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Soon she was feeling brighter and this time she called louder, Mommy, Mommy, where are you? And she used all her high-pitched squeaks and whistles. And then, very quietly from far away, she heard a reply. Could it be? Oh, it was. It was her mother and the rest of her family, and they were coming back for her. Oh, how happy Dart felt. She'd had quite enough adventure and had missed them 
all so much. They greeted each other in a frolic of leaps and dives in the waves, and if by magic the ocean around them filled with a glow of a million blue lights, it was called ocean phosphorescence, caused by tiny marine organisms that were disturbed by the dolphins. Dart stared in awe. Oh, how wonderful nature is. Five years passed and Dart had grown into a skilled and happy young adult. She still enjoyed playing with the dolphins, but there was one dolphin she liked best of all, and his name was Dash. All day long, they jumped, dived, and swim together, becoming firm friends. One day, Dash shyly presented Dart with a gift. It was a long piece of sargassum seaweed, and he held it out to her with his snout. Her heart did a little leap. She was in love. Then, with a swoosh of her tail, she sped off, leaving Dash behind. Catch me if you can, she laughed. And they started their life together. Well, I hope you enjoyed Dolphin Discovery. I'm going to have Mr. Taylor kind of take pan around the beach again. It's very windy today, and there are some waves. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.